The United States Constitution mandates a census be taken every 10 years in order to apportion the number of members of the United States House of Representatives among the several states and federal funding for many social and economic programs. Okay, so what happens is that the census does uh, uh, its work and the census determines where the population lives in the country and sometimes you know in some states you know people grow you know families grow people move people die the population is always shifting and the way it works is that when the census figures out where people in this country live they present those numbers to the president and then those numbers get divided by the number of seats that we have in Congress. The government uses census data to make sure that all the people living in a certain location are politically represented. They do this through the reapportionment process. Reapportionment is just a fancy way for asking the question, at least when we're talking about federal races, how many seats does a state get in Congress? And that is based on the relative population that a particular state has compared to the other states in the country. Once the reapportionment process is complete, the congressional districts are redrawn in order to reflect population shifts. This process is called redistricting. You have redistricting and reapportionment at all levels of government. Counties uh, have to decide how many seats they're going to have in their particular county body. State legislatures have a certain number of seats, and all of those seats need to get divided up in such a way such that the people living in them know who their representative is. Although the redistricting process varies from state to state, in most states, legislators are the ones that are actually drawing the district lines. It's a complicated issue, but one thing that is true is that the rules for redistricting now, in many instances, allow legislators to draw districts that benefit them or their party and not have to focus on the public. An issue of great relevance since legislators must comply with certain rules and regulations in order to provide protections to minority communities. Redistricting matters. Deciding whether or not a line goes this way or that way decides whether or not a community is going to be intact. And that can have the effect of finding out whether or not there's a representative who feels obligated to that particular community.